so hungover. I need to I need to work from home for a few weeks. She is gonna burst <laughs> literally any minute. Hopefully not until after January, but Hi love. You guys, since we haven't done a giveaway in a long time too, at the end of this video, we're gonna do a giveaway if we reach 100 views. So let's like and share this video, post it in your favorite nail group, and at the end of the video, Christine will pick a winner. And this is Christine's first live stream. She works here at emocouture.com. She works in order fulfillment. And she was like, Max, are you gonna do my nails for the Christmas party tomorrow? And I was like, sure, why not? And everybody that works here is connected to Christine by 10 degrees. <laughs> 10 degrees of separation with Christine. It's true. One of them is her daughter, the other one's her friend, the other one's her sister's friend, her friend's sister, and then how is Rivera related? Uh, she's dating the brother. Oh. The sister's brother. <laughs> so 10 degrees of separation. Diana Reyes is my mom. Hi, love. Hola, hola. Don't forget, you guys, like and share this video. Let's get to 100. Hi, love. I'm gonna use the unicorn shirts. Hi. I'm so excited to show with you guys the excess sculpted oval. So it finishes off the trifecta of the excess sculpted series. So we have excess sculpted coffin, excess sculpted square, and excess sculpted oval. Now, do you want to show them your other hand so that way everybody can see the design? This is the excess sculpted oval design that we're gonna be doing today. Can you see it on camera? I hope so. There we go, maybe. So I'm using the unicorn bit to go in and begin the prepping of the one, two, three, go for Lanji Fantasy. It's a new model, Christine Cueto de Noriega, Queen of Honduras. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet that she went to have this man this party. Yes, indeed. They and she got gorgeous. some eyelashes too. Don't forget, you guys, we saw eyelashes. The maxi lash line. They're also pretty. Vegan, 100% vegan. So the two new products that we launched today were the Excess Sculpted Oval One Two Three Go and then the Black Magic Arcadic Brush, which I have here somewhere to show you guys. And I named it Black Magic because once you use this brush, it's going to be like you're doing Black Magic because your nails are going to slay. William, you sure do. Your employees must love you, Max. I don't know. You have to ask them that question. Yes. She's like, I have to say yes because he's right in front of me. Of course. Your employees must love you. Vicky Wilder just did my nail, my one to three nails today. Awesome. What'd you wear? What are you using? Right now, I'm going into the diamond prefix to remove the shine off the nail and any dry new living tissue. Now you have to go somewhere and fluff your nails. It's so fancy. I'm gonna go on my social media channel. Oh really? On uh, Snapchat? Yep. Mm -hmm. Then they're gonna be jealous for one time. She doesn't have time to do anybody else's Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy. Next. Make some labels. I actually kind of enjoy, I like the sound of the keyboard clicking. Hi, Antonia. Is Antonia Cubino Wilson here? Yeah, she said hello, new model Christine. Hi. Antonia, are you ready for Disney Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration? ¿Qué idiomas hablas? Me encanta escucharte. Ya se me olvidó. Yo creo que todos ya estás época de la vida. What are you going to do on her? And I'm pretty sure they're going to be purple. I'm wearing the Marino Beauty Channel beige. Kelly's gel under them. Can't go wrong with that. Try the excess length nail. I think you might like that. They're really pretty. 
I really like the access to the oval. Cool. My mom's like, I'm gonna wear that now. I was like, yeah, it's too short for you. Disneyland. In between the castle and Space Mountain, where are you at? Well, they would be purple. The color of royalty. Did I what? Yes, I usually do Instagram first. But we're doing both today, and on a model. But on Instagram we don't do giveaways, but here on Facebook we will if we reach 100 views. How many are we at now? Ooh, we're more than halfway there, you guys. I can taste the giveaway. It makes my mouth water. So... You have to rephrase the question and tell me if you can help me out with that one. It's a brand. Yeah, it's a brand and we don't sell that brand, that's another brand. So I did did I do prep and primer? I don't remember. I'll do it again. I don't think so. No. So we're gonna do prep. Oh no, we did. We did prep and primer on this one already? Oh this one already, no, no. So one cut of nail prep. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's That's okay. Happy gel doesn't work with magnets. What shape today? I think the brand say. new Access Sculpted Oval. A little coat of nail primer, which is acid free as well. And we're going to take clear DIY gel. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was telling yes, everybody. She says giveaway. I never want any giveaways before. I'm just happy watching you. I never want to give away either. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta reach 100 views in order for a giveaway to occur. So we gotta like and share the video, click that share, post it, post it in every single group, you guys. We're so close. Because love the Facebook Live, I don't miss any since I started working second shift. Awesome. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Hola, hola. This nail is supposed to be that one, so because this one's bigger, so we're gonna have to remove the index finger and replace it. Good job, Max. It's because I didn't have my coffee this afternoon. I had that green tea with the oh, fruit in it. Right. And I want to try my new creamer. Are they good? Uh, the I did the sugar free. Oh, you Those did the sugar free ones? one? Yeah, I did the sugar free ones. Oh. The French vanilla. The other one is regular French vanilla, I think, right? Oh, I see. That. Sorry? The other one's regular French vanilla, I think. Yeah, you told me that was original. I remember doing it in the same Nope, you can go straight into DIY, Joe. Oh, I see that look. That look. I see that looks like it would be mine. Yeah, this length I think is really going to take off. This uh, style of nail is actually super popular in Japan as well, too. Did you see the episode of Wife Swap with Corey's Angels? Corey Feldman or Freeman, whatever his name is. And he had like three girlfriends living at his house and he called them his angels. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. And he like tries to copy what Michael Jackson looked like. It was so bad. Mm -hmm. And he's dating the girl from Celebrity Rehab. I was like, how did that happen? He's so ugly, too. The only thing I remember about Andy Dick was that he would dress up like... 
a cross between Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera, and the name was Daphne Aguilera. Uh -huh. And I think it was on Dancing with the Stars. Exciting to be a professional leader. It's like, what do you do for a living? Eat. <laughs> That's real competitive eating. Right to that. But my favorite regular white swap episode is the Bad Warrior. On hoarders. I used to like watching that show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but sometimes it really crosses me out how the people like their houses are. Yeah. It's really like, cool. Especially the kitchens. It's like how do you eat in that kind of condition? I've wanted to try buffalo because out in India they oh, have like the. They have I would be down to try some buffalo or ostrich meat. What about deer? Mm -hmm. I've had deer. Yeah, I mixed these up. Really? I heard it's very irony flavored. I've had it before. <laughs> well, I've had a horse meat. Oh, I don't can't believe I said that out loud on the internet. Yes. I want. I, I was in Japan and I really wanted to try it. It's very normal for them. But German people also eat horse, um, French, Japanese people, Mexican people eat horse too. They make machaca out of horse. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and it was raw, it was like horse sh sashimi. It's called cheval, which means horse in French. I think. Um, like a steak, but more irony. The only meat is delicious. But horses are farmed for their meat, and then like also the the fat is used for cosmetics. Horse oil. It's really good for dry skin. Oh, and I've had fuku. 
pufferfish. Oh. Uh-huh, you can die from eating it. Oh gosh. The fish, it's like a no, little fish. A uh-huh, when it, and it has... It's, it's very, very venomous. Poisonous, very poisonous. Yeah. And you have to have, you have to cook it or to serve it, you have to have like a special license and you have to have special training in order to serve it. Like uh, sushi, I've, without the rice, so they put it on a plate, they slice it up really thinly, and then they have it with radish and soy sauce, and then you just dip it in. And in soup too, you can have it in soup. Huh? It, it's so thin, and on a plate you don't... But it, the meat doesn't taste like anything. But it does numb your mouth a little bit. And that's like the remaining toxin that's in the, in the food. It numbs your mouth while you're eating it. And there's also, um, in China, uh, when I was in China, I've had um, Chinese hot pot. So they bring out like this giant uh, bowl of like hot oil and they put chilies in there, really spicy ones. And they also put in these like little corns, like acorns, and they throw them in there and they numb your mouth. So that way you get the flavor, but it numbs your mouth so you don't eat like chili at the same time. So you're eating spicy food, but then your mouth goes numb. It's really good. Yes. But it doesn't burn your mouth because of the, the little the other things that they throw in there. Yes, they go numb. Don't forget to share. Oh my gosh, we're almost at 100, you guys, for the giveaway. Says hi, Max. Hi. They said hey from Alabama. Hi from Alabama. Oh, and... That Cory guy, one of his girlfriends, she was a fruitarian, so she only ate fruit. Oh, wow. Like, only fruit. So for lunch, she gave him 10 mangoes. And he was like, that doesn't sound very healthy. And then he was like, I've never seen so much fruit, except in a Caribbean hotel in the lobby. When you live in Arizona, you don't stand in the sun. We avoid it. I was telling Victor the other day when I was in Texas, scouting up Dallas, I was watching the news and the lady's like, it's 75, but it feels like 90. And I was like, what does that mean? Yeah. Why would you want to say 90 instead of saying, it's 75 degrees, but it's going to feel like 90. Like, why would, I don't understand that. And then I went outside and I was like, oh. Now I know why. What was that, I'm sorry? It's just, hi, this is Chicago. Hi from Chicago! Are you guys loving the new Access Sculptor Oval? Isn't this shape so chic and elegant? Her name is Christine Cueto de Noriega. And she works in order for women here, you know, for Tomorrow's your Christmas party, she asked. She's like, Max, can you do anything else for the Christmas party? And I was like, sure. Why not? And then, she's gonna pick a winner if we reach 100 views today, you guys. So, like, and share this video. I've never had Javelina, but I've seen them out <laughs> running around, and they are scary. They're like a big pig, but bigger. And I've never had kangaroo either. I, I think I saw it when I was at the supermarket in Australia, but I didn't want to try it. Oh, and I had black chicken too. Like the chicken was black, like the skin of it. They're silk chickens. Mm -hmm. I had them in China, so they bring you like a little like bowl, like a stone bowl. And there's a black chicken inside of it. Oh, wow. The whole thing. And I don't like meat with bone, oh. so it's too much work. Very rich woman fantasy. Hi, thanks for joining us today.
These are the excess sculpted. Oh, these are brand new. They just dropped today, love. So now we're gonna take the first bit and blend in that cuticle ever so gently. Isn't it chic? just released today along with our new black magic acrylic brush which is right here this is this black magic i got a black magic one it was funny today at work we were talking about how expensive it is to eat out and then Rivera was like, Max, you eat out every day. And I was like, no, I don't. And Christina was like, no, he doesn't. He shows me the lunch he makes. <laughs> Today, I made my own fettuccine alfredo with skinny noodles. The zucchini, it tastes too much like zucchini. You like zucchini? Uh, yes, but I, I, you have to be in the mood for it, I think. Because if you think about it, zucchini doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes like water. <laughs> like spaghetti squash doesn't really taste like spaghetti. I mean, it's good, but... Like a casserole almost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at Trader Joe's, they sell already um, in a bag. Must be nice. I've had it from scratch too, but it's too much work. It is. It's very tempting. It's harder. Like cut it open. Food delicious. Not a bit left. For Christmas this year, I told my mom we should have chicken parm. Some chicken parm. Oh, say hi. She's nice, she's not going to I don't I never went to that school, so I wouldn't know the teachers, but let them know, say hey, I don't feel like my education is I don't feel like I'm learning enough. Yeah, so I always get to speak up. Especially when you're paying so much money to go to school. Yeah, but you know what happened when I went to school and somebody spoke up? They said, legally, we only have to show you what, how to pass your test. That's it. Wow. And then that was it. Which is technically true. 
but that also makes it like you know a very uh, disadvantageous situation for the student because then when the students are in the real world after they pass the test, they don't really know how to to be successful. And that comes from yeah. continuing education, like what we're doing right now here. You know, for, yeah, for free. Shopping list? Yeah, but I think today I should, I should wrap Let's it up. Let's get it over with. Today, yeah. I'm or wrapping Sunday. it up today. Or Sunday. But Sunday I usually get together with my kids. You do something on Sunday. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Either go to my son's or my daughter's when they come to my house. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just like a, we'll yeah. everybody get together. Yeah, this past Sunday I made my phone and I made some chicken. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot because it's a lot of kids. And your grandkids? No, little so Oh, do they like that kind of food or not really? Uh, they will eat, uh, depends. Like, they eat the bubble. Because I think it's a good, like, when kids are small to start getting them used to eating different kinds of food instead of just eating, like, pizza and mac and cheese and chicken yeah. nuggets. Because when they're older, they're going to be a picky eater, so. Well, I have picky eaters. Really? Mm hmm. There'll be some that don't like the onion, there'll be some that don't like the tomatoes. And oh my god. I cook a lot of onion and tomato because, like, fresh onion. So you're like, okay, then don't eat anything. Yeah, I, I have to eat You're like, pick it out then. I know some people who don't like their food to touch. I, I think I'm okay with it when it's in the plate, but if I'm cooking on the stove and you take the spoon that I was moving the beans with and you touch it with the meat, that's just... Sacrilege? Yeah, I don't like that. You're like, what's wrong with you? And my boyfriend would do something like that. I'm like, why did you just use this for that? I remember when I had my nail salon, I had a lady that worked for me, her name was Becky, and her husband was named Daryl. And Daryl had uh, OCD, like really bad, and he would say, Back at My food is touching. She's like, It's okay, Daryl. No, it's touching. I can't eat it. And then she would have to serve up a new plate. Uh, one of the ladies that used to work with me when I had my nail salon a long time ago, her name was Becky, and her husband had really. Her husband had really bad OCD, among other things. He was like manic depressive, bipolar, and schizophrenic. And uh, he would call her and say, Bethany, my first touching. Yeah, she would sit there, like doing people's nails or pedicures, with her phone on speaker so he could hear her what she was doing because he was like very controlling her. Oh, goodness. And it was funny because all of a sudden you would just hear. <laughs> well, everybody's busy working, and we were like, what's that? And she's like, oh, don't mind me, it's just Daryl. Oh, gosh. I don't know, where is it? <laughs> Poor Becky. And I remember, too, like, he was really jealous of her. Put that in. And uh, he would want you to go to the bathroom to make sure that nobody else would, like, follow her into the bathroom. And, she, I mean, she wasn't, like, a playboy model or anything. Large woman. Okay. Like, uh, four, over 400 pounds. Anyway, we're talking to Becky. Hmm. Like, really serious. She was, he would tell her, You can't talk to anybody else but me. You can only talk to me. Poor girl. Yeah. That's some really. Really, really yeah. strong uh, mental illness. Yes. Yeah. Or he's probably the one with his guilty conscience I'm trying to make her feel like she was going. Yeah. And then they got divorced. <laughs> and he messaged me, he's like, hey Max, you want to go hang out? And I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> he sent me like a random message on, Insta on Facebook once. <laughs> and she remarried too. She remarried somebody else. They can use a new puppy. Yikes. She got one, so I'm really happy for her now. No. The other, the Becky with the good hair, she's um, she's one of the writers. She's a homegirl here on on Facebook. Yes, they did use A Pink, right? What yes. Did you use? Um, Christina, she's wearing A Pink number three, which is the most popular. I'm wondering if it's one of the A Pink colors. The base color is A Pink three, which is the perfect nude. It's cute. I like 
And then shower days were Tuesdays, Thursdays, and every other Saturday. Those were shower days. And then she taught me how to make yummy casserole. I remember that recipe. She would use cans of cream of mushroom for everything. Really? It was tater tots, cream of mushroom, and then I think like chicken strips. Um, Alexis would probably like that. Chicken strips. <laughs> chicken strips and french fries. I like mushroom. Can we, can we mushroom? Yeah. And not by itself. All they mix with something. But just like mushrooms in general. I don't like the cream of mushroom soup by itself, but mixed with something yeah. else, it's good. Like the green bean casserole mm -hmm. comes with that. I've only made that once though. Really? I love yeah, green beans. Yeah, my kids don't like mushrooms. Really? Mm -hmm. Have they even tried mushrooms? Probably not. <laughs> but they're like, I'm not trying that. Yeah. I'm the kind of person who likes to try things, so I, I like to experiment. Because you only look once. And then when yeah, you travel. I'm the, I'm the type that will try new things. When you travel and you go to, like, for example, another country and you don't try people's food, it can be offensive. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna suck it off. to fish. Just you know, they wouldn't give it to me. And he, he brought his chopsticks and he put a little bit on my plate and he's just and he said, try it. And everybody was waiting for me to try it and I did. And I, uh, that was it. But it literally tasted like eating ammonia. And it looked it looked like a like a rotted fish covered in feces because the sauce was like brown and watery. Oh, it was so gross. What a video. This is gonna get demonetized with these very graphic descriptions of Put heels on. Do you have small feet? Yes. So can I you wear kids kid shoes? Kids shoes, yes. Size four. Kids. What about um clothes? No, I don't wear kid size clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you come in here like wearing like a Mickey Mouse shirt from like <laughs> the kids section. If I, mean, I, I could wear some of this, <laughs> if I wear a tight enough girdle underneath, I could probably squeeze into a little kid's shirt too. But it's gonna be really tight, like emo, early 2000 tight. But that was the look back in the day. Do you remember that when you were in high school? All the emo kids with their low tight shirts. Yes, tight shirts? and yeah. skinny jeans <laughs> with their long straight hair that was jet black covering their eyes. Do you remember those kids, Ignacio? And they would listen to what? This like, topic get is the so disco? entertaining. <laughs> really? Oh, you know what? We're gonna music. We're gonna play tomorrow. And sync. Uh -huh. <laughs> to send you off. I watched. I watched the Boy Band Christmas Holiday Special. When they were so young. You're not going tomorrow. It's her last day before she goes to maternity. Yes. Is Paul coming?
you can rewatch this video as well too and watch it from beginning to end to see how we prep the nail and apply the design and everything. The whole shebang. The whole enchilada. I was like, poor Paul is inside a little shit. A little See Paul, you die in seven days. <laughs> but Polynesian. <laughs> Isn't Guam considered like Polynesian? It's from Guam. Guam. But isn't like it's kind of close to like Polynesia, like tropical. When I was in New Zealand, the Maori people told us there was twelve tribes, and they all came from Hawaii. So like Tahiti, Tonga. Guam, I think the Philippines, the Maori. Oh my gosh, stop it. <laughs> my eight year old be seeing that. Oh, my husband be seeing that. A little bit more, huh? I was like, you're an island boy. What's that? Is that a song? flavored um, Starbucks coffee, but too much sugar. Too much sugar. Ooh, look how cool they look. Well, my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for today's demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys love this new 123 Co shade and this design that is super simple yet super effective, and what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I will see you tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.